While trade on the city streets winds down as daylight draws to a close, business on the banks of the Nile for those working on the city's famous boats is just getting started. Sometimes we fill the boat with passengers like families for three pounds per person. The hour costs 80 pounds for the small picnic boat. The big boats, especially for wedding ceremonies, cost 150 pounds per hour, as it holds from 50 to 60 passengers on board. Housewife Teresa George takes her children to enjoy a night ride on the Nile every week. We come here weekly to have a boat trip with our children. This place is cheap and for everyone. The River Nile, of course, is iconic and the weather is nice. And we come here so our kids can enjoy their time. Her husband, Mina Murad, says the boats used to be dangerous, but safety standards have improved. Riding these boats previously was risky, but now safety measures are much better. There are lots of policemen on the Nile and everywhere you go in Cairo. If anything bad happens, we ask for their help, and that's why we come here a lot. Well, the Nile holds a special place for locals. Its draw cuts across generations. I love the nice weather here. I've had open heart surgery and I'm a pensioner, so I like to come here at night to smell the clean air on the breeze. And those boats have been here for a long time, since the age of my grandfather. The boats are here in Al Sahil district. We enjoy our time especially at night, and I adore the night because it makes me calm. Despite the fun and festivities, the music isn't appreciated by everyone. Some complain that the boats work throughout the night without any regard for those living nearby. The complaints have resulted in some boat drivers having their music equipment confiscated by the police. We have some problems with the government authorities. We have our sailing license, but they insist on making trouble for us. They always confiscate our music deck and power supplies. They confiscate the engine, the music mixer and the USB to stop us from working. But the party doesn't last forever. This year's boat season is drawing to a close with the winter's months proving too cold for many until the weather heats up again and the onboard festivities begin again. Ucheo Koronkwa, CCTV.